My presentation today is on long-range acoustic devices, often referred to as LRADs. While the technology isn't that new, you may have heard the term LRAD recently because it's been in the news, but I'll get more into that a little later. Let's start by discussing what they do and then how they work. Long-range acoustic devices have a maximum output of 162 decibels and a range of about 30,000 feet or 5.5 miles for clear speech. That's an insane loudness and range, right? Let's talk about how they achieve that much volume first. The speakers we are used to in a studio environment usually have one or two transducers. The LRAD, however, uses many small permanently polarized ones called piezoelectric transducers. They are usually staggered like this. We all know the basics of how sound behaves when it's coming out of a speaker. It spreads out, and as it spreads out, it gets quieter. Sound waves move the same way as light waves when we power a light bulb. This is exactly where LRADs act differently than speakers. Instead of being like a light bulb, they act more like lasers. Very directional with a long focused beam. This means that the waves coming out of an LRAD look a lot more like this. How does the beam get so focused? Well, it's a mix of properties we already understand. The audible sounds that the LRAD sends out are encoded on an ultra high frequency wave, much like FM radio, but the frequencies used by the LRAD are not nearly as high. That allows the signal to go far, now to keep it from being interfered with. The outer ring of transducers are out of polarity with the ones nearer the center. This creates a bit of a barrier and allows the signal to remain very directional, as all the waves going out will effectively be canceled. Now that we have some understanding of how it works, let's give it a listen. Let's dive into the uses of LRADs. They were originally developed and used by US Navy ships to ward off enemies from a very far distance. More often now though, we aren't seeing them on boats to ward off far pirates. We are seeing them acquired by local police departments to disperse public gatherings at a much closer range than previously designed for. They exude a powerful 95 decibels from 200 meters or two football fields away. As I hope you guys all know, anything over 90 decibels should warrant some earplugs. In fact, they train and require law enforcement to wear hearing protection while operating or even being in range of the device. Officially, LRAD says that as long as targeted subjects are more than 75 meters away, hearing damage will not occur. But clearly, this is untrue. Long-range acoustic devices are being bought with tax dollars for the Tempe and Phoenix Police Departments. They are used against protesters of the Black Lives Matter movement for crowd dispersal to fix what they describe as unlawful gatherings. The people police use this weapon against are often unprepared and unprotected. LRADs are classified as non-lethal weapons, but with possibly long-lasting effects. Can we honestly say that they are a safe way to break up our citizens in the streets? There have been instances where people said, well, what if they wear uh, earplugs or put their fingers in their ears? The device is designed with sufficient intensity. That really doesn't do a heck of a lot. We've got some sounds that we play that'll vibrate your head, uh, shake your chest. 